Got me a big Canadian white tail here. Well, we've been on this buck for, uh, I don't know, a couple hours. We picked up a track. We had a couple inches of snow in the night. We picked up a track, took us to a fresher one, and we've got on that. I don't know what time the snow ended, but we've been on this one here for a couple hours. He laid down here, and he's got up, and he's walked away again, which is good for us. We gained some time now. Um, we're going to keep after him. It's the last day of muzzleloader season here in Maine. We couldn't catch that one we was on yesterday there. We run out of time, but we headed back in the same area. There were several bucks running that ridge, and that's where we picked this one up. So we got a little better conditions today, a couple more inches of snow to quiet this crust, and we got some wind and a little bit of light snow blowing around. So. With any luck, we can uh, catch up to him and maybe we'll get a chance at him.
Smile. He's down, brother. <laughs> <laughs> it is cold out today. <laughs> that was cool. Oh yeah, that looks cool. <laughs> See him coming right at us. <laughs> I don't think it's the one we're tracking. No, I don't think so either. It's another one. I thought it was. He looked big coming on, but his rack don't look very big. But yep. hey, had a tough season and. <laughs> Let's go I'm check proud of you, bub. Let's go check him out. And we'll go make sure if it's one we was on. I can't believe it is, but maybe. Good eye of picking that thing out. Yeah, I got, I, I got him on video, so he's on. You know my eyes? I can't, in that mist and cold, yeah. I'm blurry. Well, we came about uh, from that bed. We'd come another half a mile, and uh, he'd come out of the bigger woods and come out into some of these old choppings here. And we were cutting across the chop and just got done telling Chris, geez, it's too bad we couldn't catch him out here in the chop in there. And we were ducking through some, a lot of whippets here. And Chris spotted him. He was, he was walking back towards us. But this buck isn't the one we were tracking. Kind of made a mistake. There's been no other tracks in the woods since we come up, get up in this area. There's been not another track made since the snow, and it was walking head on. It looked, I just assumed it was the same buck. Just didn't have a big rack. That's sometimes the way it comes here. He's only got five points. It's a, I think he's a, just a two and a half year old buck, but. We're happy with him. He's the last day of the season, and we've hunted hard. We got some good footage. Got too. some good footage of him. You see right the footage. We shot him. Yeah, you see the footage we got. But he's a nice buck, anyways. And the big one that got away. Maybe we can get him next year. This one was just—it's a crust underneath here. It's about a foot of snow up here, and he's. Uh, We've got to come up the ridges a little bit, and the snow's about a foot deep with a crust under it. We just got two, three inches of powder on it, and the deer have been, they don't like walking in the crust as much, so they walk in each other's tracks, and I guess that's what this one was doing. He must have just come off that ridge and got in that big one's track and was coming the other way on it. But good news is we got a logging road fairly close. It's morning. Get all day to get him out, get back, get rested up. Tomorrow morning we're heading for Ontario. So let's get out of here. You gonna help me load this? I don't know, how the heck am I gonna use the camera and do that? 
Put the camera down. You shot it. I'm an old guy. I can't get this loaded. <laughs> Don't take too long. My hands are freezing. Well, we got him loaded up. We ended up pretty good during the drag. We uh, only had about a half a mile to drag on an old logging, on a logging road. So we got him loaded, head back to town. What we found out was the buck we was on, we just crossed the tracks, dragging them out. They crossed the road and uh, he picked up a doe with a lamb on the ridge that was right in front of us and they come off. This buck might have been with the doe and he booted him out because the big buck and the doe and the lamb all crossed together and evidently this one was coming back and saw what happened. I just thought it was, I thought it had to be the one we was on. Just didn't have a big rack. You know, I see it was the width of its ears. I was looking down through the whips there and didn't possibly think it was going to be another one because we hadn't seen another track. But that's the way it goes. It's a big woods buck, but it ain't real big. I think he's going to go, Gimp says 175, but we'll see. Got to go tag him. crossing the hole of road on the way out. How about early? Yeah, they moved in the night. Okay. It's kind of funny, we started on a track that it was half full of snow, took us to one that had just a little snow in it, took us to one that had no snow in it. That was the big one we was on, and this one got in the way. Because I saw just a few this morning that had you know, half full of snow, you know, like where I was. They're moving, and there's another bunch headed down to it. Yeah, yeah, that's why I think everything oh, yeah. is headed down towards Adian. Yeah. That's where I was. They're getting a little restless, I think. Well, they start, I know it's the last Sunday, all the shows on. Yeah, a bunch of them come last week. Yeah. What do we got? Uh, 161. Yeah, I think that's what that says. We've had a lot of them that size. Yeah, two and a half years old. I knew it. I could see him coming head. He was coming head on through the whips, you know. Yep, go ahead. Thought it was the one we was on. Had no reason. I, you know, a lot of them don't have big rats. I said, ah, I could see.